Hi, today we see the last digit, last two digits and last three digits of few special cases. I am just telling you these are the few special cases and you can say it as a shortcut or tricks. The first one is the last digit. 1 raised to power n always ends with 1. We are going to check the last two digits and the last three digits of cases for the last two digit we'll check the numbers would be in the form of 10 plus 1 means number ending with 1 and looking for the last two digits and for the last three digits we are going to check number is in the form of 100 and plus 1 means numbers ending with 0 and 1 I hope it is clear means for the last two digits if number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 1 reach to power 42, what is the last two digits? Means we are looking for the last two digit of this number or 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 0, 1 reach to power 4, 6, 7, 9. What is the last three digit of this number? I am just going to test these two few cases and some extra on base of these two. Okay, so let's check. If you have the one as a last digit or and the second last digit and looking for the last two digit, we can say this is 10 and plus 1 form means 70 plus 1. When you have one as a last digit, then last digit should be 1 for any power. And for the second term, just check the last second last digit of the base and last digit of the power and multiply these two. 7 into 2 is equal to 14 and check the last digit. So it should be 41. So this number raised to power 42, the last two digit would be 41. We can check this by or we can deduce this by binomial. If you have one, last digit would be one. And for the second last two digit, seven into two, means second last digit of the base and the last digit of the power multiply, you will get the 41. I hope it is clear. Check another example. One, two, three, five, six and one raised to power one two three seven okay what would be the last two digits can I say if you have one the last digit would be one and the second last digit is six and the seven is the last digit of the power six seven the forty two the last two digit would be forty two I hope it is clear. So, in a nutshell, we can say if our number is in the form of a1, a is the last digit, second last digit of the base, and the power is in the form of b, and b is the last digit of the power, then the last two digit is 1 and a into b, the last digit of the ab, and then 1 is followed. One example is here. Now what I am going to say, if 1, 2, 3, 5, 2, 7, 0, 1 raised to power 3, 2, 7, 6, what is the last three digits? If you have 0, 1 as the last two digits, then the last two digits is always 0, 1. We are going to same concept, we have 1, then the last digit is 1. When you have 0, 1 as the last two digits, then the last two digits always be 0, 1. And check the third digit of the base and the last digit of power. Multiply 7, 6, 42. Take the 2. Just the same concept. I hope it is clear. Can we do some more examples? 3, 2, 7, 9, 1 raised to power 3, 2, 7. What is the last two digit? Or three two six zero one raised to power one two three four. What is the last three digits? For this one, then one nine seven the sixty three, then thirty one would be the last two digit of this number. When we have zero one, this would be zero one, and six four the twenty four, then the four zero one would be the last two digit of this number. Sorry, last three digit of this number. I hope it is clear. Now what is the use of this? 
you can get these question in your examination directly find the last two digit or the last three, three digit ending with one we can see other cases in some other videos how we can use this we can use in finding remainders if our divisor is in the form of 2a into 5b anything like 480 or something then it is nothing but they are asking to check the last few digits in which if you have to check last a digit of the number or the last b digit of the number which one is the bigger one means if your divisor is 2 cubed into 5 square then they are asking to check the last three digit of the number okay for example if our divisor is 250 then it is nothing but 2 into 5 cube so they are saying last check the last three digit of the number so can we say for the 250 we are looking for the last three digits okay check a question our question is 1 2 3 4 5 7 0 1 raised to power something divided by 250 250 is what 2 into 5 cube means we are looking for the last three digits of the number if we have last three digit of the number we can get the answer so we have 0 1 as the last two digits so the last two digits would be 0 1 okay the third digit is 7 and the last digit is 6 so 7 6 are 42 the last two digit is nothing but the 4202 sorry 201 so the remainder of this divided by 250 is 201 if these three digits are or would be greater than 250 then we have to divide again the number so the answer for this question is 201 this is as simple as abc i hope it is clear okay thanks